Have you ever gotten something that's very very important to you, not only stolen, but also sold off on the internet? Especially if it was your own outfits? Guess what? I have. My name is Lola Whistlebang, and this is my story about how my crazy half-sister sold all my clothes online. When I was seven and a half, I heard the most devastating news a person could ever hear. I hate to tell you this, but dad has passed on. What? No way! A few days before, a drunk driver fell asleep on the wheel. And all that was left of my dad was a solitary grave in my precious memories. I'm sorry, dad. I'm sorry. Mom used to be very sweet and considerate, but after dad was buried six feet underground, she showed her true colors in front of me. All right, that's enough. We have to go now. Mommy, check out this wonderful drawing I made. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I can't believe you can be this disrespectful, especially when it comes to someone else's personal space. You knew about my crush on Akamatsu and this is what you've been doing behind my back? Like, dude, I get that you hate me, but come on now, that's low, even for you. Wow, see? This is why I'll never ever see you as my daughter. No. Stop, please. I've never done anything at all. So, as punishment for, quote, interfering in the love life of the golden stepchild, I had to wear a sign that said beware of man-eater on the back of my shirt for the next two weeks. And that's not even the worst part. Hey girl, guess what? Thanks to the incident you caused, Akamatsu and I are a thing now. They flaunted their relationship in my face, in front of thousands of people. And to add salt to the wound, when they kissed, everyone was cooing and cheering for them. At some point, I realized my whole wardrobe was emptied out. Where the hell are all my good clothes? I had a feeling that Miss Amber Von Tussle over there had something to do with this. Out of curiosity, I looked at her desktop while she was on a date with Akamatsu. What the? Prada dresses for 5024, Dior shoes for 6076, Louis Vuitton bags, 195. As if it were on cue. Hey you, what do you think you're doing here? Peach! You two timing imbecile! How dare you sell my clothes? Have you no shame, you dirty thief? Well duh, that's for attempting to steal someone else's man, you bratty Barbie. I told you, I never wanted anything to do with Akamatsu-kun. Even my mom's too much in love with her new daughter to care for what I say. Lola, enough of your dirty lies! You just wanted Nate to leave me, do ya? No, mom, it's not like that at all. I just want to feel safe in my own home. Well, Miss Princess, since you're so unhappy here, then feel free to skedaddle on out of here, right now. And so, that was it. I couldn't stay in this hellhole anymore. And besides, I was 18 anyways, so I think it's best for everyone. While I was packing my bags, my soon-to-be ex step which was cheering and celebrating my defeat. I'm like totally glad you came to your senses. I can't wait to turn your room into a second walk-in closet. Ha 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 ha. Whatever girl, I don't care anymore. Goodbye, Peach. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Better yet, do so. Ha 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 I had to quit school because mom stopped paying for it and moved to a homeless shelter. I also needed to look for a job. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. In that case, you got the job. Six years later, I opened up my own hair salon. I started my business from the ground up and now I'm living the sweet life that I truly deserved. One time, while I was finishing up with a client, I eavesdropped on the convo of some familiar people. Oh my god, mom. I'm like sick and tired of dating Akamatsu-kun, always demanding that I help around the house. And besides, my stolen clothes selling business isn't doing so well lately. Oh, my poor baby bug. I'll tell you what, me and dad will gladly help you out as much as we can, money-wise. Oh my gosh, really? Totally, my dear. We'll buy you a mansion of your own, and you can quit that lousy job and we'll take over. It was fun for you while it lasted. And I hope you didn't regret sneaking Akamatsu in my bimbo daughter's room while she was sleeping and cost her her reputation in school. Ha 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 I didn't regret it back then, and I still don't. She darn well deserved all that happened to her, especially for being prettier than me. I knew it. I was framed after all. And all because of their jealousy. That tears it Gladys and Peach. I'm gonna have to ask the pair of you to leave. <laughs> oh well, she was my mistake anyways. So I banned that she devil duet from my multi-billion dollar hair salon, for life. Seven months later, I married Peter, the love of my life. And we were blessed with four healthy kids, three girls, and one boy. Can things get better than this? And about my old family, I heard from one of my relatives that Peach was sued for billions for obvious reasons and her shady business went bankrupt. Now she's been sentenced to 10 long years in the county prison. Who's the mistake now? <laughs> on the other hand, there's some solid proof that Gladys has been cheating on Nate with none other than Peach's ex-boyfriend Akamatsu. And now they're having a big blowout about the mess. What the hell is wrong with you, you nutty old bat? And with my daughter's boyfriend of all people. 
And so what? You're the one who hasn't paid any attention to me lately. I just can't stand you anymore. I'm leaving. But that doesn't mean this is over. So get ready to pay up, both of you. Looks like she's the one who dug her own grave, a very deep one to be exact. I hope someday she'll realize the severity of her actions towards me. But until then, she not only lost her new family, but she lost her grandchild privileges as well. The end. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Jazz Clown Productions.